Welcome back again. This is Shadul Gavande from Ace Knowledge and in this video we are going to start with part 2 of practical number 1. So in the first video we have seen how Android Studio works, what are the different components of Android. So now and even we have run a simple program of Hello World, right? So now in this video we are going to start with the broadcast receiver. So what exactly is a broadcast receiver? So in our phone, whenever there is a missed call or if there is a message or any internet uh, notification which comes on our any of our applications, Facebook, WhatsApp. So we are notified by the system or by the applications, right? So those are what nothing but broadcast receivers, which 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 let us know any event which has happened on our application. So now in this video, we are going to check the network connectivity with our application. So if the, there is a network connectivity with our application, we would show the message that it is connected. And if not, then we would show that it is not connected. So let's check how it works. So here is my Android uh, project, which I've created already. And in my main activity.kt, I would be typing my code. So the very first thing what we need to do is we need to do, deal with the connectivity manager. So whenever we want to check whether our application is connected to the internet or not, so there is class called as connectivity manager. You can Google it out over here. You'll see on the developer.android.com website. So this is class connectivity manager under which we are going to write a code. So it says that its primary responsibilities are to monitor network, Wi-Fi, GPRS, etc. So we are going to check for the two two things. First is if it is connected to a mobile, and second if it is connected to a to a Wi-Fi. Okay. So let's start with our coding part. So we'll create a variable first. So creation of variable in Kotlin is by declaring val keyword val, and then I'll give the variable name equal to next application context. So you can see this application context, or it comes. It also shows where this application context comes from. So it is from get application context. So what does context actually means? It means the application itself. So this variable or the connectivity manager, where are this going to place? So in our Android application. So context means what our entire application. It whatever whatever coding part or whatever variables or methods we would be declaring, it would be for our own application. So that is why it is application context. In short, it means for our own Android application, which we are building. So you can write application. So here it is application context. And then we have dot get system service. Okay. So and after that, we have again context. C O N T X. So this is the file which will get imported Android dot content context over here. You can see import android.content.context so context dot we have to check the connection so for that we have connectivity service connectivity underscore service and the class which is as connectivity manager okay so this is the line application context dot get system service and in context the connectivity service as connectivity manager so most of the things are been given over here if you can go through through this documentation you will understand and we will proceed further so let me hit enter now i would like to check for active networks so first one what i am uh, what i have written is i have initialized it. let me comment it so that you can understand initiate connection and connect to a network and then the second part would be to check for any active networks so what would be the active networks mobile wi-fi uh, then uh, wi-fi max so all those things are different types of networks through which we can connect our application so next variable i would be declaring i'll give the name as let's say network info equal to c the variable which i've created here dot Active network info again you can see over here active so there are two first is active network info and second is active network so you have to go through this active network info 
So it states that from where it is coming, get active network info method. So I will type here active network info. Fine. So we have initiated a connection and we have called the get active info method. And now we'll check for a condition. So if let me open and close and over here. Well, here it gives some error. It says missing permission required by connectivity manager dot get active network info. And the permission name is Android dot permission dot access network state. So in the first video, we have seen at which file can we enter permissions or on which file do we need to give the permissions for an enter application. And that is nothing but our manifest file. So in the Android manifest file, we need to give the permissions for the network state. So over here, user permissions it comes and the permission was active network state. I'll simply hit enter and the tag is closed. So it's that simple. Okay, so it the error has gone now. Fine, so we need to put the permission for, uh, for our network to check our network state. And now if condition, so if I would say if network info, first thing, if it is not null and it is connected. So condition would be if network info is not equal to null and it is connected. So network info dot is connected. So I will have over here. Let me navigate here. I will have again one more if statement. What it says. Okay, so there was a space. So under if one more if statement, which would be to check whether the network info is connected through a mobile or through a Wi-Fi. So if network info, so I would put uh, put it as a type. To declare to define it as in which type it is mobile or it is connected through mobile or Wi Fi. So, network info type is equal to connectivity manager, which is a class which we have declared. You can see this uh, uh, highlighted word wherever connectivity manager is there in our page, it would highlight. So, connectivity manager dot type here, here there are different types type Wi Fi, type mobile, type Bluetooth, Ethernet. So multiple uh, types of connect connections to the internet. So first I'm specifying type mobile and uh, under this I can put bracket or I can simply delete those bracket also but if it is just a one line if, if statement but I would prefer to put it as of now. So if it if it is if the application is connected to or if the phone is connected to the network i would like to uh, print a message that connected to mobile okay so to print a message we have toast in android toast so its file is android.widget.toast so toast dot make text so make text so make text means what whatever text do i want to display so where do i want to display the, the text on my application so in android application we call it as an application context right so i can type it here as context application context comma the message which i want to display it is connected to mobile and uh, comma i want to show that message so toast dot length short and long these two things are very important length long means what the message would be would be there for a longer period short means what it would be there for some second so i would prefer it to go as a length long so that we could have the message displayed for a longer time on our application and then show over here okay so this was my first condition the second would be network to for to wi-fi so it is network info dot type equal to equal to connectivity manager dot type wi-fi Okay, and again the same thing toast dot make test application context comma the message which I want to print connected to Wi Fi comma toast dot 
length long dot show okay so here i'm not putting any semicolon because in kotlin it doesn't matter if you either if you put or if you don't put semicolon fine so this was if statement the main if statement gets over here and the else part for the main if one okay so the else part so what what would be there in the else part so it says that if mobile connected to mobile if wi-fi connected to wi-fi and if it is uh, not null and network in first connected then only it will get in, into this uh, two conditions and if it is null and not connected then we would say as post dot make text application context comma you are offline okay and let's print it so toast dot length long dot show so yes i'm done with it and let's try to run and check our program if at all if there is any issue we'll resolve it so i click on run looking for amd abd okay so here is my abd already opened just installing the application now gradle building so now it is installing apk over here launching activity so here currently my network is not connected so it will say you are offline okay so let's try to connect our network let's get into settings and we'll go to network and internet let's enable wi-fi so i have enabled wi-fi connection I'll go to my home back again, and here let it let let it, it it takes some time to connect. So here you can see it will take some time for the Wi-Fi connection to get enabled. So once it is enabled, then we can open the application so that we get the proper output. Now that it is connected to the Wi-Fi, let us check by running our application track one, and over here you can see connected to Wi-Fi. Okay. Let's try with our mobile data settings, network and internet. Let's off this Wi-Fi mobile network and let me enable this. Okay, so back to home. Again, it would take some time to connect to make it enable mobile network. Let's check it now track one and here you get connected to mobile okay so that's how this broadcast receiver work and uh, let's take let's suppose i want to take this take this part you are offline uh, to the center or any of the toast message to the center of my screen so what i can do is i let me comment this thing and uh, let's let's declare a variable val. I'll say toast equal to toast dot next text. Here I would write application context from uh, what the message was. You are offline from a toast toast dot length long dot or oh, let not show over here as of now only length long and after this I would use this variable toast over here and now I want to set the message to the center of my screen so I have the property as set gravity and it would be center uh, gravity over here gravity comma then uh, center not comma dot center after this comma at which coordinate 0 comma 0 okay x and y coordinates at 0 comma 0 and after this i would write here as toast dot show okay so i have set one of the message you are offline to the center of my screen now let's try to run it again let me uninstall this application so it does not conflict with the reinstalling of it okay and now if i run this okay let's wait 
launching activity activity is launched and since it is connected to mobile it is showing connected to mobile let me off the data settings again network and internet mobile network let me off it and back to home and now let's try running it i should get the message in the center of my uh, application so i run track one and here you can see you are offline the toast message now came at the center of my application so that's how this broadcast uh, receivers work that's it from this video thank you so much for watching this video if you like the video hit the button like and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much